like this. Then you come in there like this. And I'll zoom in and you again, can see how you get the here. rough look. Okay, now we have the horizontal. Now we go to the vertical joints. So horizontal first, vertical second. And it will work. Do the same thing here. Make sure you get them clean. And that um, raker they can get for, we've seen them for as low as six, seven, eight bucks since they're only doing one That's job. Exactly. They don't need a professional grade. No, you gray. don't need to. And same with the ester, if they want to strike the joints, they can get that for six, seven bucks too, right? That is correct. There are, at Home Depot or several hardware store, Ace Hardware might carry masonry tools. So now you see where this side is all raked out get the rest here and then I take a light brush here and first I take the horizontal and that cleans joints, it out pretty well and it also smoothens this out you see smooths how it joints. takes the roughness out of the joint so take a little whisk broom and yes just brush each joint nicely if you have any holes there just make sure you fill them Now, all right, then it comes out joint. clean. And if there is any smear marks that comes on the stone, they can get um, some uh, masonry cleaner, right, by Prosecco yes. or someone uh, else. If they smear a lot while they are laying this up, being somewhat amateur, uh, I take again a sponge and then end up sponging this wall. You can sponge it or they can come later with a little acid, but yes. sponging it now makes it a lot easier to clean later. Later on to clean it. But there you kind of see the finished product. All right, you can see how the joints look nice and rough and, and they match the house. So you'll generally want to match it to the house. If the house is striked, rough look, then you'll strike it, excuse me, then you, you rake it. But if it's smooth like the house, then you'll strike it. Right. And, um, we're gonna now back up the mailbox here the wall so that the literal the, the the mailbox can sit on top of it um, down below it's real smooth why is that smooth like that right now well uh, we finished it uh, yesterday and um, we had some rain coming and I wanted to make sure that we had a fairly smooth surface to protect against the rain now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use those 8 inch blocks for backup what I'll do is I'll put a little cement here in the middle. Because like you can here. back it up with anything. The owner had some leftover bricks, so we backed it up with that. Now we're going to put in some block. If uh, you don't have any leftover brick or any um, other, material. other materials like stone or something like that, then just get cinder blocks because they're the cheapest. And it's real simple. Just set them in there. Because that's going to be the support for the mailbox, as you'll see later as we come up. We have the blocks in. Now I'm going to use some bricks to get up. I only have two courses to get to the bottom of the mailbox. So I'm going to put in two courses of bricks. So that's where sometimes bricks comes in. If you have to just get it up level to, to a um, certain height. Then you just put in some bricks, and like I said, use the old junkier ones. Usually, if you get two, three hundred bricks, you're always going to have maybe some chipped ones and some ones you don't want to put on the outside. So you can just lay them in real easily. You don't have to be too precise. Not like on the outside where you have to be real careful and you want to get it real level and looking nice. What you do here is you kind of follow the outside of your bricks here. You can see we're kind of even with the outside. We want to be, the next course will get us flush with this. So like we said, you can back it up with anything. Um, so you can also get four inch block. Sometimes some stone might work if you have some leftover. You can get them. second hand bricks. They are generally the stone yard, uh, or brick yard will sell those at a more reasonable rate than first-class bricks. 
Because generally, like the bricks we got here, they're about 40 cents a piece. So you figure and about $40 for about 100 of them. The older bricks you can sometimes get for half that price. So now what I do is, as you can see, I'm going even with my coursing here. So it'll be level when we set the mailbox on top of it. This way, this way, and this way. And this way. Now <clears throat> we have the base. What I do now is I take cement and fill this. And you do that because now it's, then it's a lot more solid inside? Yes, and also it gives me a solid base for the mailbox. So here we have it. Now I got this. I will get the mailbox. And we're all ready to put the mailbox on. <clears throat> okay. Set it. Okay, Dad, now we got the uh, mailbox and it just sits right on top of the base that we just filled in behind. Can I take and, a level? Okay. <clears throat> Put a level across there. It looks like I'm a little bit <coughs> low in front. Put a little cement there. And now I'll wiggle it down <coughs> to where you can see. Right there, we're level. Now we're level. Okay. Then I'll go across this way, and as you can see, we're level there. Okay, so we're level on both directions uh, with the mailbox. So we and can you see start, how it sits. <coughs> and then <coughs> you measure, obviously, to have the same distance on both sides. We have six and three quarter here. We have five and a half here, so I'll move it over this way just a little. We're showing six. Six and a quarter here, about an eighth more. And we have six and a quarter there. So this is basically where you want it sitting. Level and plump. All right. Hey, Dad, we're gonna do um, some cuts now so they know how to cut with the brick hammer. We got the mailbox in. So we want to make sure that we get cuts that go around it. Um, you measured it from each of the sides. What right I did there. is I held it up there like this, and then I give myself a little joint alongside. I don't go absolutely tight. Mm -hmm. Then I do the same, since we're even, both of these cuts are identical okay. and will fit. Then I take the brick hammer okay. and I tap along here and then I turn the brick over, hit just, it there. And you just tap fairly lightly and there you got it. And then I've got it, as you see, I need to dress it out a little. Here we have this cut. There we go. We have this. Then I'll take the opposite side, which I have marked out already, do the same thing. Make sure you just smash it a few times on each side. There. You got it? And you and see where it this, fits right this in. one fits on this side. And this is basically what can do. Tap both sides, and since this is right in the middle of the hole, it makes it a lot easier to split out. Rather than if it's between. Well, if it's down the solid side of the brick, it takes a little more tapping here and on the back side. You gotta be to, a lot more patient. Yes, to break that out properly. Here we lucked out, we were in the middle of the hole, and so it makes it relatively easy to buy.